Hi everybody, we are in lesson 4. In this lesson we will start working in our project. This is an example project that we will show you how could you go with other projects. First step in this lesson is to understand your project type. This is the most important step for every project. Traditionally used in all projects, but it, it have it has some special important characteristics in the AutoCAD or CivarCAD projects. Uh, next step is to understand your geometry. Since you are work and an engineering project, geometry is a key element in all our work. The third step is to see what is your assumption of your project or what is your local guideline or how how you work in general in this project. Later on we will show you how to draw main pipe, import drawing and assign data and information these are related to watercad in general and uh, check and optimizations for your project. Last step is the validate and run validate for hydraulic condition and run for all conditions. Let us start understand your project type. Project type. What is the main element in this document? Is is your project is a user water network or an existing one? For example, you have to upgrade your current network or you are you are start a new networks or network for housing units or for new village or so on. And whether your network is looped or branched one, and you are water engineer, and you must have all information about loop or branch network. When we use this, where we use this, and so on. And the third point is whether you have to elevated use elevated tanks or you pump fed systems. This is important. Depending, it's depend mainly depend, depends at your geometry, at your available head of water and so on. And the last thing is what you have limitations and local guidelines for the projects for your area and so second step it is geometry. Geometry in general related to the elevations and so on. For first point, we will see your highest and lowest points. This will give you an idea about what is your water head needed and how to provide your system use pump or not necessary to use pump. You can make one tanks or more than tanks, one tank or more than tanks and so on. More than tank and so on. And location of tanks, other utilities. This is important since uh, you fa will first start with tank or pump, or you will make if you have a project of high level of accuracy, you need to make more than what we call a pressure zone or even elevation zone, or uh, it is called it supply zone and so on and uh, this is great how you will how your layout will be a great and so on is this a great enough or high or it is maximum minimum and so on last is to see your where roads available right of way where to put your items and so on and here we let us see an assumption for our current project. Keep in mind this assumption for our current project only and this is maybe used in some project, maybe used maybe not used in any other project, but in general it is very important to understand what you have to state before your project started. Here we have ruler area. This is very important. High grade 
no level zone and so on and we have also the area is housing housing you know what is housing and it has the follow it has the following information maximum number of stories is two each unit has unit has two stories each story has two appearance for one unit we have four appearance average population per appearance is six persons you can see for one unit four multiply by six twenty four people per unit per capita daily demand is 120 liter for person for all unit something like this liter per day water use button is found in this tree you can use any pattern but let us use stick what you have in this entry no water disinfection process no chlorization no water addition and so on this is for the characters for guidelines or local guidelines mean by a blind hand the meter with no less than 8 inches this is very important if you have a diameter for example 5 inches you will round it to 8 inches local connection has a diameter with no less than half inches or half inch this is also important also important but you will in our project we will not reach such steps it is generally simple and no need to go deep this is important and this is a limitation put it for this example only main we will design main pipe no need to design further pipes oh, and with first branches pipeline let us say one example of how it is branches how it is go in the area how it reach the house without any need to the local connection and so on uh, main pipe uh, will reach from all around the area branch maybe example only one example and so on uh, generally uh, we will use loop and branch system we will not use bumps bumps may be defined in later lessons and so on um, we use the WHO values for water we use uh, something related to the this is uh, not an important factor but uh, when we you work in university or when work in firm they all have some limitation like this um, but also let us say what thing we all listen some this boss listen we talk about the future population the projected the future and so on and this is when we are working in a new project this new project has its own limitations for example we have one unit one unit one unit one unit now maybe maybe build or not but when they are all built with they are have full capacity the project will have these characteristics yeah you can say it is as similar as to the future projected population you can assume it as this that's to say let us start working with the project now we have a project let us move the we have steps for example tools options units it's all as we need uh, what you can diameter maybe make it as inches and so on but let's now let us keep it as let us keep it as this let us keep it as this so now move to the uh, project uh, project uh, what we call properties name it sample one engineer write your name company also you know what this is 
that exam now what we will do simply go to the layer we'll add our layers we will add contours <coughs> colors let us use uh, contours let us use this maybe fine on this yes, it is fine for controls maybe change it later here we have houses let us stick with black fine black well, yes. and here let us add roads for roads I prefer to use blue I do not know why but it's fine make sure to keep the colors contracts now what we will do is simple you have project you have all needed information all needed data this is house unit house unit house unit for example you can see here a hilly mountainous area you can see here a valley also a valley mountain or small mountain area how to know where is the highest point in this project if you work fine with AutoCAD you can do it from one click but if you have no further information you can do a simple trick let us add tank for example here and tank here and tank here Ready, no need to add. Let us see. Yes, okay. Let us edit the scale. Let us make a as as we can see. Okay, this is fine. Very second one. Okay. Here and here. Now, how would, could we do simple trick? Go to tricks, go to tools, tricks, elevations, my contour, elevation, meter, meter, click next. Let us see the elevation of our, yes. Or tank one the elevation, tank two the elevation, tank three here the elevation. Click finish. We all know that tank one is here. What is the highest? Click here. From edit, select tank. Hit delete. All tanks are here. Now this one for tank location is here. For all network, maybe reach from here. To here, to here, to here, to here, and the main pipeline. No need to go with this area since maybe not in the housing. I think it is here start point. Yes, we have to find start point for now. Let us define our start point as here in this junction. It's start point. You can add label if you wish. Now, here the tank. No problem in this. How would you design your network? It is a hydraulic process, no need to go deep in it, but let us move on it and fast, no need to give any further details. But first of all you need to do what is your elements. Uh, our elements simply as reservoir and tank. Reservoir by definition from water that is unlimited source of water. But tank is limited. 